Hi Photoshop Guardian fans! Today we're going to be making a tutorial on how to make backgrounds transparent in Photoshop. Today we're going to take this logo and we're going to delete the background and make it transparent. That way the only thing you see is the logo. We're also going to be saving it as a PNG. That way when you see it on the web or if you were going to print this on a product, then you wouldn't have any of the white, it would just be your logo. So the first thing we're going to do is open your image and we need to get the dimension size of your image. So do image, image size, and you're going to write down the width, the height, and the resolution and press OK. Then do File New and put in the same width, the same height, and the same resolution. And this is what I suggest if you're doing something for print that you print it out in CMYK color and if you're doing something for the web that is RGB color. And make sure that your background contents are transparent and press OK. Then drag this layer over here and we're going to work on the original layer. Um, okay, so go over to your toolbar and choose the magic wand tool. If you don't see it, it'll be under the quick selection tool. So choose the magic wand tool and come over and just click on a piece of the white background. And that has selected the white and but you don't want to take the white over here in this background you see this is what will happen if you drag it over right now is you'll get the white and you don't want that so let me undo that what you want to do is you want to do select inverse and this will grab your actual logo and not the white so with the move tool grab your logo and drag it over to the transparent background. Now you have a transparent background with your logo. You also have some white over here in the O's, so we want to get rid of those. Just grab your magic wand tool and select the white and then press delete. Select the white again and press delete. Then do you select, deselect, that way everything's not selected. Now to save it as a PNG file, you're going to want to do File, Save for Web and Devices. And then come over here and it has your preset box. I typically save it as a PNG 8. I make sure that it's perpetual, that there's no dither, and make sure that this transparency box is checked then just save it. I'm going to just save it as untitled for now. And you have your transparent background. I'll show you what it looks like. Let's get out of here. So here's this. It's untitled and I'll drag it to my desktop so you can see. And then here was the original logo with the white background. So you see how it still has the white background, but now your original is transparent. So that, that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, if you are wanting to go more in depth with your training, there's a, some tutorials that I have found that have been really helpful. I went to school for four years to learn this. A lot of people don't have four years and they don't have tens of thousands of dollars to go to college to learn these just simple tricks and tips for Photoshop. Um, I found this tutorial. It's really easy. It shows you some really special effects in Photoshop uh, like this smoke and lighting effect. Um, they show you, you know, how to touch up your skin if you're into photography, how to do a fairy tale sequence here. Um, this one is really cool. It's, um, you know, it shows you how to put some animated background. Um, a lot of cool stuff uh, that you don't get a lot of different places. Uh, I think the course is something like $27. It's very affordable. 
if you want to check that out, there'll be a link down in my description. There also will be a link, I'm sure, that'll pop up in this video that'll take you to the page and you can check it out for yourself. So um, if you enjoyed this tutorial, go ahead and hit like, um, share it with your friends, and we'll see you on the next tutorial. All right, bye.